So another quick example is we were working with a company to understand the inner workings and had the general manager and the owner and some of the supervisors, some of the workers working together and observing what happened to the traffic patterns in the office. And what we saw was very interesting. We, so we traced where people walked and where they came in over 21, 22 minute period. We found that there was this big black blotch in front of a table. And on that table there was a, a multifunction thing that Officers seem to like nowadays that it's a combination fax machine, scanner, and printer. As we looked into it further, it seems that actually there had been a request for a, another copier, and the manager, in taking a look at it, when uh, looking at the costs when it came to buying time to buy it, did an analysis, and what they their thinking was this that uh, a copier alone costs fifteen hundred dollars if you add to that. Um, the cost of a, a printer and a fax machine, an inexpensive printer and a fax machine, take up the slack, it's about $1,800. Um, whereas a uh, multifunction machine, a uh, much cheaper multifunction machine, they were able to get for about $250 at Office Depot. So, plain common sense, fax machine costs 250 versus $1,800 for the individual machines of them all, then you have $1,550 savings. Great! So we just saved $1,550 for the company. Or did we? Because on further investigation, when we did a work time study, what we found was that each worker was losing about four hours a week. There were six workers in the office. So that's about 24 hours lost in the office waiting to be able to use the machines that were on that, you know, on this little table here. Not a very good use of people's time and it, though it's um, in another country and the, the, the pay rates are lower, it would still came to about $240 a week and lost money, literally paying people to stand still and money that was being paid out. Now, it doesn't take much to realize that $1,500 we supposedly saved would be enough very quickly, but $240 a week lost. It would take about oh, just a little bit more than six weeks to do that, and then we would continue to lose that money over the period of the year, every year that the machine operates. $240 a week, so that comes to over $12,400 a year lost, being spent paying people once again to just stand around. Cost-cutting looks at only one small part of the puzzle.